Which native Aussie animal will Australia choose as its most underrated? Will it be this tiny cave-dwelling carnivore, the ghost bat? Don't be fooled by the sweet snoot. These silent assassins are surprisingly ferocious. Could it be camouflage extraordinaire, the giant cuttlefish? They can contort themselves into all kinds of shapes and they live fast and die young, usually at just a year old. Away from the coast, you can find another contender in our freshwater, the short-finned eel. Not the cuddliest of animals, but believe it or not, these freaky fish can travel on land and even climb walls. Rats are another polarising kind of critter. This one is our largest rodent, the water rat Rakali. Maybe try a reframe. Think of them as Australia's otter. You may need a reframe for the velvet worm too, which is not, in fact, a worm at all. They hunt insects by trapping them with homemade glue, liquefying their insides and slurping them out. It's hard to go past the mysterious marsupial mole. With no functioning eyes or ears to speak of, they're well adapted to a life lived under the sand. Also high on the ugly cute scale, viral social media sensation the turtle frog. This slimy, tiny-headed amphibian is found in WA, and its Latin name translates as muscle frog. While we're underground, let's meet the great desert skink, a gorgeous orange and culturally significant for many First Nations groups. You probably know the black cockatoo, but how about the palm cockatoo? These punk rockers live in the country's northeast and boast a wingspan of one and a half metres. Finally, surely a front runner, the humble dugong. They make strange bird like noises, and these gentle giants can weigh up to 400 kilograms. ABC Science editor Jonathan Webb says candidates reflect a broad range of Australia's less recognised animals. There are definitely some lovable, lovable creatures on the list, but we were really aiming to come up with a list of animals that were spread around different parts of the country, also represented the kind of breadth of the animal kingdom and the varieties of, of amazing creatures that we have in Australia, but weren't necessarily household names. You know, the dugong is, I guess, relatively well known, but it's not on any coins or coats of arms just yet. Maybe it will be after, if it, if it comes top in our vote. But um, even if they're not you know, uh, particularly well known, mm. or if they're slightly maligned, like the eel, which is kind of amazing, but uh, most of us probably feel a little bit repulsed by them. They all deserve our attention and they all deserve our um, focus in terms of conservation as well, because the, the cuttlefish is on the list. And just recently we've heard that it's uh, quite profoundly threatened. A key population is threatened by the algal bloom in South Australia uh, that's happening. So mm. they all deserve uh, a little more love. Who's your favourite, Jonathan? I'm team marsupial mole, but I have uh, quite divided loyalties. I think those the, the mole is amazing. We don't necessarily think of Australia as a, as a place where you find moles, and it's not actually a European-style mole, but it lives like one. It's a marsupial with a pouch, but because it burrows around underground, the pouch has to face backwards. Um, but they're, you know, sort of no eyes or ears. They can effectively swim in the sand, and it's, they're very, very rarely seen. So, um, yeah, I, I think they're pretty special. And I think we don't also think of rats as being an Aussie phenomenon, but that water rat, the Rakali, uh, is amazing. Webbed back feet and it can dissect a cane toad wow. and remove the poison gland and eat it. So a, a native rat that could take on a cane toad I think is worth celebrating. That's right. It was the turtle uh, frog that did it for me I have to say. So how can people <laughs> vote for their favourite underrated Aussie animal? Well you can learn even more about them uh, over the next couple of weeks and, and make your choice. Just go to abc.net.au slash science and in National Science Week the week after next we'll be crowning a winner and there'll be episodes of our podcast What the Duck about each and every one of the contenders rolling out every day for the next 10 days. Great title. Great to have a chat to you Jonathan. Thank you. Pleasure Rose.